I want good weed. Good weed. Out my window, I see everything I dream about and wish I had. Hustle, 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 kick it. Ain't no sign of kick it. Nothing. Alright, today I'm gonna be telling y'all how to save money within your sneaker business, with sneaker customizing business. Um, I got a few points, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna be too long or whatever, but I feel like this can definitely help a lot of y'all. And I went through this stage of trying to figure out how to save money and, you know what I'm saying, just build the business at a faster pace. So, leggy. Now you're gonna see me glance down at my phone every now and then just to keep my little bullet points and whatever. So yeah, I'm telling you five steps to save money within your business. Okay, the first one. When you are buying shoes to customize and everything like that, even when you first start, like it just say you you go to finish line of footlocker and you want to buy a pair of Air Force Ones or whatever and you're just buying them for yourself so you can customize you know what I'm saying get, get your work out there and all that kind of stuff what you need to do is sign up for all the rewards and any type of point system that they have what this is going to do is going every time you make a purchase or any time that uh, they have some kind of promotion going or something like that What's gonna happen is you may get a coupon, you may rack up points as you spend money with them. Like with one instance, um, like I was buying a lot of Air Force Ones from Finish Line for a while, and I actually had to redo because I, I I already signed up for the rewards or whatever, but I had to redo my um rewards program so I can get my coupons and everything. So I was spending hundreds of dollars and. I wouldn't get nothing in return really. But once I, I signed back up for the rewards, and I think I spent like $300 one time on a few pairs of Air Force Ones, I got $20 off my next time purchasing. And it just keep on going, keep on going. I don't, I can't tell you all kinds of promotions that they have because I mean, I'm not within the, that realm or whatever. But that does help. I know I'd rather pay seventy dollars for a pair of Air Force Ones other than than ninety. Well, that's before tax or whatever. But y'all get what I'm saying. Make sure you sign up for all rewards. If you're spending money anywhere you go, make sure you got eggs. Y'all got a rewards program. Y'all got some kind of um, loyalty system or whatever. So yeah, that's number one. Number two. Buy in bulk if it's possible. If you have the money, you have the means, the finances to buy in bulk, do it. It's gonna save you so much money and time in the long run. You, if you get to a point where I mean, I say like me or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm decent. You know, so I'm not making a ton of money off of customizing shoes. I make a decent amount, but if you have the means to go ahead and buy, um. A gallon of paint opposed to uh, a one ounce do it I'm telling you it's gonna save you so much time energy and money in the long run because if you keep on buying just say alright the way it works with um, paints I'm gonna take it down to the smaller size the one ounce paints are around like three dollars or whatever but the, um, the four ounces are around like six Imagine if you get two of those one ounces. You have two ounces of paint opposed to four ounces of paint for the same price. Y'all dig what I'm saying? So if you can get that four ounce of paint, just say, I know this is what I did when I first started, you know what I'm saying? Making money within it and getting orders and orders. So what I did was the, the paints that I knew I was going to use which I like the blacks, whites, grays. Me, I love Tiffany blue, so I, I always bought that in pinks. So the the colors that you use the most get the bigger bottles of it. You know what I'm saying? If you're an airbrush artist like myself, get you don't just get that little, little bottle of two things. You wasting your time. You gonna waste your time and your money. Get the big bottle if you have the means to do it. So that would take save you time 
and money. Why well, would say it saves you time? Because you know what Angeles paints. If you don't have a, a distributor in your city or in close proximity, then you have to order your paints. There's no way around it. It's going to save you time because you're not going to have to get that paint shipped to you every time you need one ounce of paint. You, I need to order. And then you're not going to have to pay for shipping all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can get you a gallon that, uh, of white that may last you a whole year, maybe even a little bit more. Opposed to buying a one ounce or a four ounce every week. Y'all did what I'm saying? So make sure if you can, if you had a means to do it, I'm not telling you if you first getting started, go out and buy 30 of the gallons, get all gallons. Don't do that. That's dumb. You, you don't have that kind of clientele yet. But when you develop a certain amount of clientele and you are using these paints very frequently, then you need to buy in bulk if you can. Yes, sir. All right, the third one. Know when sales happen. I'm going back to Angeles. They have sales just about each holiday. So like now, October, it's October. So they will have a Halloween sale. And it's probably gonna be somewhere between they normally do either like 15 to 20 percent off depending on the holiday. Um and then November coming up, they got Thanksgiving sale. They have Christmas sales. They always have sales normally around the holiday seasons. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you in tune. Because it, it normally lasts from like um like to Friday to the Monday or Friday to the Sunday. They do it on the weekend every single time. So you won't have to worry about all that. So you need to know. Be locked in. Follow Angelus on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Sign up for the emails. Because they will send you emails. Just like uh, another thing. Um... Yeah, okay. With um I, I buy uh, quite a few things from uh Remix Your Kicks and I buy uh, quite a few things from uh Liquid Kicks. I signed up for their emails. So you know when they have a sale going, just say they have a ten percent off, twenty percent off, you'll know when that sale is happening. Because you need to put in your emails. Please do that. It's gonna save you money, I'm telling you. Because when you buying these paints and stuff like that, it can get expensive. They may not look like that expensive. Like you say, oh, it's the one ounce. Okay, I three dollars. Okay, the four ounce, six dollars. But that's two colors. And when you a person like me, you use so many different colors. I mean, that's my style, so I use a lot of colors. It gets expensive. So a lot of times that can knock off of like when you get the catch those sales, it can knock off the shipping plus a little bit off of the paint. Depending on how much you buy, you know what I'm saying, and the percentage of the sale. So, boom, there you go. Know when the sales happen. Okay, number four. Um, shop online and use coupons. I'm pretty sure all y'all shop online with Angeles. But, do you shop online when you're getting your materials? Shopping online doesn't just mean necessarily you have to go to eBay. Or you have to necessarily order things. You can place an order for pickup, just like with, with me. And um, when the situation happened with the corona hitting and everything, I was going to Michaels because I may need a paintbrush or something like that. I go, I get online, place my order or whatever, and then go pick it up. A lot of times when you place orders, when because like that's one thing they want to push for you to um, place orders, the little pickup and everything. So they'll give you a percentage off another way to save money, a percentage off from going through the pickup type of deal, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, online when you have like, I got the Michaels app, I have the Joann's app, they have coupons that come to your phone. I literally just got texted by uh, Joann's and Michaels. They'll tell you when they have coupons, when they have promotions and everything. Sometimes they'll have 40% off of all of the painting accessories. Um, if you like to work on canvases, they have, they'll have a certain percentage off of those. They'll have a 40% off of one regular price item, 20% off of your total purchase, 25% off your total purchase. 
these are the things that you need to know because when you are buying materials, you want to save as much money as you can so you can maximize your profit and continue to grow in your business because the money that you save, you can either put to a savings or you can reinvest it back into your business, which will make it grow at a more rapid pace. You dig what I'm saying? So just like, like you use these tips or whatever and you put whatever you save off to the side to at the end of the month you may be able to buy an extra pair of shoes you may be able to buy the airbrush that you've been wanting you know what I'm saying another that's going all right another thing with the uh, shopping online with airbrushes and things like that if you shop online it's always it's it's a um it's more competitive because everybody wants you to see their product so people will be cutting their prices like crazy online opposed to going to the store when it is competitive but once you're in their store you're in their store so it's nobody else they're competing with when you they got you in their store you know what i'm saying but when you are online it's so many different people selling the same item so what they're going to be doing is undercutting each other three dollars off four dollars off ten dollars off from that normal price so like if you want to buy an airbrush and a compressor or whatever if you buy the same airbrush and compressor, if you go to the store, just say, um, like now, uh, you can go to Harbor Freight and get, um, it's like a little crafting airbrush and compressor. It's a set and it's around like $80, $90 or something like that. But if you go on Amazon or you go on eBay, they have kits that basically the same kit in my opinion a better airbrush and the same compressor a kit a combo and you get more things you get more needle tips you get more needles you have um some of them have different things like um accessories to the um the airbrush and everything and it's sixty dollars you just save thirty dollars and you got more products now you tell me, I mean, if you want to save money and advance even more, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. But if you don't, then I really don't understand you. You know you. Alright, the last tip. This may be difficult. You know, this may not be your personality or you may just not be fortunate enough to meet these kind of people. But if you can, you need to form relationships with people with connections. You know, I'm, uh, I've been blessed to grow up in a situation to where I had, I ain't gonna say I had to network with people, but I knew people, you know what I'm saying? Then like, without me, with, yeah, throughout me doing my business and, you know what I'm saying, pursuing this career, I've met people, I've gone to events, I've met people, um, I've sold shoes to people that know people, I've done shoes for people that know people, so I've, I've gotten a few connections inside of, you know, stores, people that, you know what I'm saying, within Nike or whatever, and I can get, they can get me things that are discounted, like, I had a connection to Foot Locker, had a connection to Finish Line, I got multiple connections to Nike, uh, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, so, if you can, if you're fortunate enough to know these kind of people or be in the atmosphere to where you can network with these people and y'all can get some money together, you should do it because it's going to save you so much money. Like, instead of buying, I'm, I'm going to say all the way transparent with y'all. Okay, I met, I, I uh, connected with this person in Memphis. Uh, I don't know if y'all know, but we do have a Nike store here. We have a Nike employee store and we have um, the Nike factories. Like the actual, fact, not the factory store, but the actual manufacturing and distributing factories. We have one in Memphis. Well, hold on. I think it's two of them. I think it's a couple of them. I don't know. But yeah, so I was fortunate enough to meet this person who they were like, Hey, I can get you Air Force Ones for 75 Brand new with the box, all that consistently. I can get you Air Force One for 75 instead of you paying a whole hundred for them. So, of course, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't? If I can save what I'm saving, $25, I'll 
I can put that, I can save that 25 and reinvest it into my business to grow. You think I'm not gonna do that? My look, I was giving that man that 75 happily because going up to the store, wondering if they have them, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a hassle going online, especially with now the shipping has been crazy. I don't know when my shoes gonna come in. If I can get directly to the source, for less, for cheaper, all I gotta do is send a text. Hey, I need this side. Let's meet up. Boom. If you have that, if you can get that luxury, do it. Now stay safe out there. Don't be working with people that you don't trust. Cause you know what I'm saying? That could be dangerous, you know. I was fortunate enough to actually know this person before. You know what I'm saying? We started dealing with, you know what I'm saying, money and everything, but if you and if you gonna link up with people that you don't know, I say stay safe, man. You know, if you gonna meet up and this person got some products for you to purchase at a lower rate, stay safe and stay knowledgeable. Know your product. Know what a fake Air Force One looks like. You know what a real one feels like. You know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that. Meet up in public places to where it's cameras everywhere. It's lit up. All of that kind of stuff. Don't be an idiot. And you know. If you need to have a yeah on you, you know, yeah. But um, hopefully that helped y'all, man. Hopefully you enjoyed, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to bring the best content to y'all uh, possible. I'm trying to help y'all in any way that I can. Anytime I think of anything that can help you along your way in this journey, I'm going to do it every time. If y'all have anything y'all want me to address in the comments, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Might run them little questions. You know, yeah. But other than that, that's it for me. And that vibe. I'm going to catch you. Yeah.